in aid of Stress Awareness Month, which we're in now, April, mm -hmm. very, very, very important month, very important topic to you know build awareness around, we are doing a show based upon mental health. Now, I just want to start off by saying, look, we, we know this is a huge topic. And by no means are we doctors or psychologists or experts in this field, but what we will be sharing today is information that we have got from the doctors, that, that there's so many doctors actually that we've spoken with, the nutritionists as well, around mental health, around stress, around anxiety. And it's, it's fantastic that there is a month dedicated to actually making us more aware to what it is and ways in which we can help other people. Now, what we will be doing is discussing practical ways in which you could help yourself. I know there is no one answer, there's no singular answer for even just one symptom. It's just, it, 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 I mean, it, it is, it's a minefield. There's so many different variables and we know that. And we just wanna discuss our own experiences, our experiences of family, and ways in which we can, you know, offer, you know, uh, well, forms in which you could help yourself and, and others around you. In fact, you know, look, if, if you are really suffering, it is incredibly important to say that you should be speaking with somebody, whether that is a family member, a friend, or of course, go and consult your GP. But today, right now, in the next hour, we're going to talk about a few ways in which other people have said they that have really helped them with their own anxiety. Stephen, I mean, this is a huge topic. It is, it a, is huge a huge topic, topic, and I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad uh, thing that everything comes under one heading of mental health. It might mm -hmm. be a good thing, because that might make it easier for people to start discussing it. But when you start looking at all the different areas, mm -hmm. from depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, bipolar, uh, uh, and it just goes on and on and on and on, um, they are all in somehow, they are linked. I mean, they are all to do with the brain. Mm -hmm. Although we could also say, brain and gut, because gut and brain access is very much linked, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it could be to do with the microbiome as well. In, in fact, in a lot of cases, we think it is to do with the microbiome. Mm -hmm. But we, we put it under brain health and mental wellness, um, because that kind of where uh -huh. the topic is going But it's all you, globally. isn't it? It's yeah. all you, it's all one part of you. You know, body, mind, in fact, it's really one thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it is all one thing. And I think we also have to clearly separate two things. And, mm -hmm. and those two things are, if somebody's feeling depressed mm -hmm. and you've had a trauma, you've had a tragedy in your life, lost a loved one, marriage breakup, moved house, all sorts of things, exam mm. time, kids not sleeping through the night. You know, all the things that can happen. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, those are kind of understandable. And that happens all around the world. Doesn't matter whether you're in a cut off remote tribe in mm -hmm. the Andes or Aborigines or the Inuits or, or the Eskimos, because I'm going to talk about a lot about this uh -huh. later on. Um, that's different. That is what you'd expect when a trauma has happened. Uh -huh. What we're really talking about in, in sort of the modern world and in, in the, the westernized world is a feeling of depression, anxiety mm -hmm. and so okay. on when actually we can't identify what the root cause is. Yeah. And then we, tr we need to try and understand how, you know, if a friend's just lost a loved one, then mm -hmm. we know it, it, as a friend, it's easier, or as a, as a sister, or as a brother, it's easier to help a loved one, uh -huh. um, or a real close friend of yours, if you know what the cause was. So if they've lost one, or they've had a tragedy or a trauma, uh -huh. it's much easier to support them and, you know, and, and be by their side. And that's different. But what's different for many, many people, and right now what we're talking about, is when your friend's a bit down, a bit uh -huh. depressed, and actually, you know, I, I know some people that on paper should be the happiest people in the world, but are constantly suffering with depression and, and even themselves can't work out why mm -hmm. they're depressed. So, and, and, you know, and that number of people suffering like this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. In fact, in the UK, in 10 years alone, the number of people having to take medication for depression has doubled. Wow, I mean, that, it, it's massive. There is absolutely no denying that it's massive. I mean, in the, in the past year, 74%, and this is you know, on, on the Mental Health Awareness site for the UK, so uh, uk.org, 74% of people are suffering with so much stress that they've been so overwhelmed or just unable to cope. I mean, when you get to the point of being unable to cope, and like yeah. you've said, it's almost, I mean, I'm not saying one's worse than the other, but it's so difficult when you feel so overwhelmed, this huge weight on your shoulders, perhaps you're crying and you can't even 
fully pinpoint the reason. Like you say, you know, something like PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which actually yeah. I was told I had after um, being in, in, in intensive care on a ventilator. You can, okay, obviously understand. Not yeah. saying that it's, it makes it any better, of course, sure. but, but not being able to really grasp why you feel like you can't get out of bed that morning mm -hmm. why, when you feel like the world is just literally sitting on your shoulders and you you're struggling to do anything to speak to anybody about it i mean that is that is so difficult and yeah. we just, you know we know that so many people we've got friends we've got family i can even say that i've been there myself and you just it, it's so difficult yeah. i mean really it's so difficult even just talking about it it's just yeah. It really is. Well, I want to start yeah. with, and it's a difficult subject, and there is no one single answer, but I want to start with three, as they say in the business world, helicopter views, okay? okay? Three things that I would say before we get into any detail. Okay. So first of all, the brain is an organ, just the same as the heart, the liver mm -hmm. is an organ, and, and it needs fuel, just mm -hmm. like a car engine needs fuel. And there's a great book out there at the moment uh, by a brilliant, brilliant doctor. It's called The Hybrid Diet uh, and Dr. Uh, Malcolm Holford, great English doctor, mm -hmm. written about 30 health books, knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Uh, and a he talked just, just a little, little bit, bit. Like, 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 like lots, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> and in fact, Dr. Shan did a podcast with uh, Dr. Patrick recently, mm -hmm. brilliant podcast, talk a lot about mental health on this podcast. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dr. Shan who say, Check out his podcasts if, if you at all want to learn more uh, around mental health yeah, and, and mental health. wellness. Yeah. Uh, and they're called uh, Enduring Health. Mm -hmm. um, so nutrition is a big part. We have mm -hmm. to get nutritious food. It's also important to know, because we talk a lot about high fat, low carb diets. It's also important to know that the brain itself can't operate on fat. The molecules uh, in the brain are just so tightly packed that it either works on sugar or ketones. Mm -hmm. So it's either been fueled by sugar, but the best fuel for the brain is ketones. Okay. But you need to get into ketogenesis to do that. So you That's need happened. to really get your body... What's ketogenesis? So ketogenesis is we need to get the body used to burning fats as a mm -hmm. fuel, and then the liver can, tur can turn those fats into ketones, and ketones are a great source of fuel for the brain. Uh -huh. So nutri I want to keep it simple at the beginning. Okay. So nutrition is really important. Yeah. There are other people that say a lot of things around a ADHD, around mm -hmm. uh, children disorders around the brain, and nothing more than vitamin B deficiencies. Mm -hmm. But again, let's put that to one side. Let's just start with three basic things. Mm -hmm. Nutrition. Okay. Right? So a lot of depression, anxiety could be down to nutrition. Mm -hmm. The next one is something that I call a theft of happiness. Right. right? Oh, I know where you get. Yeah. You know where I'm going yeah. with this. Yeah. And that's social media. And my phrase is comparison mm -hmm. is the theft of happiness. Mm -hmm. So many people are so addicted to Facebook, so and I've true. got family members the same, so not just Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, it goes on uh. and on and on. And of course, we like those things when, to get messages out like now about uh -huh. good uh -huh. health, but if you're constantly looking at the photos of your friends and your loved ones, yeah. they're only gonna post the best parts of, of the course. day. Of course. So therefore, you could, if you're not in a great place, start to see just everybody else being happy, 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 but actually you're just seeing a snippet of their life. Mm -hmm. So comparison is the theft of joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's number two. And the third one is we've been sold happiness all the time. Happy meals, happy hours, happy this, happy that. And again, a, a great bit uh, in the hybrid diet. Uh, Pat Patrick talks a lot about our brains being hijacked by these message of happiness uh -huh. And therefore, it's been hijacked so much that our brains lost all sense of what really is true happiness. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh. good nutrition, be really careful about comparisons and uh -huh. social media, and also just try to step back from all this marketing mm. of happy meal, happy this, happy everything, yeah. uh, because our brains have been hijacked a little bit about what mm. true happiness is. Yeah, absolutely. Stress and anxiety can feel absolutely huge. So sometimes just breaking it down and actually really thinking, what does my body need? What can I do? I mean, small incremental steps, you know, but practical steps that I can incorporate into my life to know that I'm doing, that you're doing something good for yourself. You know, it's not about changing everything because I mean, that, that's unrealistic, let's be honest. You know, we're not saying that you're gonna just feel amazing yeah. overnight and it's just too big. And actually that in itself can be like, whoa, 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 that, that can make you stressed. 
but wouldn't it be great to think that you're perhaps doing something small, yep. something small, you know, having listened to the, the doctors, mm -hmm. the guidance, you know, that's out there from medical professionals, from nutritionists, and, and as I say, doctors and otherwise, wouldn't it be great to just think that, you know, I'm gonna take a piece of that advice and actually do something and incorporate yep. it into my life, which is why we're doing this show right now. Thank you for joining us. This is why we're doing yeah. this show. So let's look at some little wins, okay. right? So again, if you're feeling depressed or if you've got friends that are really <gasps> depressed, go see a doctor, right? These are the sorts of things. Of Whenever I speak to Dr. Dan and Dr. Mm -hmm. Shan, these are the sort of uh, cases where they do want their patients to come mm -hmm. in and see them. A lot of other things, Dr. Shan and Dan will mm -hmm. openly say, well, with that, just maybe go to the pharmacist and see if the pharmacist can help first yeah. or dial one of those new magical mm -hmm. NHS helplines. Mm -hmm. But depression, and anxiety, you do need to see a doctor about it. Of course. But of let's course. look at some little wins first little wins, that have yeah. come from uh, what our customers have been telling us, of course, yeah. what our doctors have been telling us from the general advice out there at the moment. Let's go back to nutrition mm -hmm. and let's look at some things. And remember, a lot of things around happiness are hormones, mm -hmm. right? So what can we eat? What can we digest? Uh -huh. What supplements can we take? that can help with the hormones yeah. around dopamine and uh, serotonin. Mm -hmm. What can we do to really try and get the happiness hormones, if you like, yeah. sparking and firing? Uh -huh. How can we make our engine run yeah. smooth as possible to really, you know, do the best we can for ourselves? So I'm going to, first of all, we're not going to, because uh, there's only so much we can talk about in one show. Uh -huh. I'm going to assume that everybody's eating enough oily fish. If mm -hmm. not, get some Omega into diet and you can get your Omega in whether it be fish capsules, whether it be uh, which we sell, or whether it be uh, flaxseed flax oil, oil, but make sure you're vegetarian. getting enough oil going into the brain, mm -hmm. quality oils, especially omega-3, yeah, to really it's, yeah. help the brain, right? Yeah. That's really, really important. Then let's look at some other things. Uh -huh. Let's talk about CBD, because mm -hmm. it's a hot topic, topic. I'm one of our fast-growing uh, hot sellers uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. uh, let's look at a multivitamin, yeah. because we want to make sure we get enough vitamin Bs, mm -hmm. because nearly all the Bs, when, it, when, you look at, when you're talking about going back in time, uh, 80 years, and listening to the, uh -huh. advice, uh, the advice of Linus Pauling, uh, who, according to Einstein, was the only real genius on the planet. I know, who I love won, that. Who had won two Nobel <laughs> Peace, uh, Peace Prizes, and uh, had something like 40, uh, doctorates, uh, all given to him by different wow. universities, because probably the most intelligent man on the planet um, said we need to get more vitamin B, mm -hmm. uh, all the vitamin Bs, of which there's eight of them, and more vitamin C uh -huh. for the brain. It's yeah. really important fuel for the brain. So what foods can we eat that have got vit rich in B? Mm -hmm. What vitamins can we take that are rich in vitamin B and so on and so forth? So we'll look at vitamins. Yes. Vitamin D, in other words, important. the sunshine vitamin. Try and get out in the mm -hmm. sun as much as you can when it's a really nice sunny day. But when it's not sunny, make sure you've got plenty of vitamin D in your diet and Needed. also with your supplements. We don't get enough in the UK, let's be honest, of Good sunshine. Stuff. So it's, you know, it's important to ensure that we're getting enough of that vitamin yeah. in our body. Well, that's actually a hormone, isn't it? It converts into a hormone, but very, very important. Yeah, so vitamin yeah. D, that's a really good point. So vitamin D, mm. we call it a vitamin. Uh, Dr. Malcolm Kendrick actually said it shouldn't really be called a vitamin. No. It is a hormone, and it's a hormone we can create, but we need, the sun is the best way of helping uh, uh -huh. create more internally synthesised vitamin Who's D. Who's on holiday, don't you? And you come back and you, yes, I mean, you, yes, it's a bit of a tan makes you feel good, and you've had a lovely time, and hopefully your family and friends, but a lot of that is to do with the, exactly. the, 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 the vitamin D that you've absorbed and exactly gives you that extra right. boost. Exactly Kicking right. So we need step. plenty of vitamin D. We'll talk CBD. Uh -huh. Let's talk about some vitamins and minerals. Yeah. Let's get going. Let's get going. Okay, right. So we have actually very recently uh, done a show on CBD. So do check that out where we talk about all things CBD and only CBD in that show. But this is one, as Steve's reference, one of the few ways that many, many people have actually reported, they've said, has helped them with anxiety. Now, now, we I were, think if you did a yeah. quick Google search or on uh -huh. a, any search engine for CBD and looked at all the things that it's claimed to be good for, I think anxiety comes pretty much number one or number I'd two agree. on every single search. I would agree. And, and don't forget CBD oil. People go, oh, isn't that cannabis? Well, it is from the same plant as cannabis, but it's not. It's, it's one of the extracts. And there's many extracts you can get from, a, mm -hmm. from, from hemp uh, and cannabis, mm -hmm. but this is a, an extract that is totally safe. It has none of the THC, or mm -hmm. it's 0. 0. 0.000 something three. I mean, it's minute amounts. Yeah. THC so, being the psychoactive yeah. version. Yeah, so this isn't the bit that's gonna go, ooh, 
Ooh, make you hallucinate. <laughs> hallucinate, anything <laughs> like that. Uh, you have to get that elsewhere, and it's not legal, so it's definitely not for it's him. It's not, not on our, not on uh, our channel. <laughs> but this is totally legal across the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, it is pretty much legal uh, across the world these mm -hmm. days. Uh, and this is an extract from that plant yeah. that does so much within the body. And we actually think, primarily speaking, as we evolved as a species, especially in the UK, mm -hmm. we were getting CBD all the time because mm -hmm. hemp was all over the country. The cattle would eat the hemp. Yeah. The cattle would therefore have CBD and then we would have it. And there's a whole system within mm -hmm. our body now that relies on it. Our body even creates CBD itself. So uh -huh. it's something that's absolute natural within our own body. But people are finding by taking CBD oil uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a supplement now, uh -huh lots of benefits they're finding Absolutely. in particularly around anxiety what you've just spoken about there in fact you know um what the meats that we ate because they were grazing initially on the hemp plants it's it's much similar uh, very similar to when we've spoken about uh, hens that are feeding on uh, flaxseed yes. and then we get the omega-3s from mm -hmm. the eggs and so on so if you ever heard, heard, heard of omega-3 eggs that's basically yep. what what it's describing but going right. back so to, you are yeah. there's that phrase isn't that you are what you eat but more importantly, you are what you eat, eats, eats right? <laughs> well, what you eat, eats. Yeah. You are what you eat, eats. So if the cattle are eating mm -hmm. lots, or a good example you just said, mm -hmm. so if chickens are being fed flax seeds, yeah. which are rich in omega-3, those chicken eggs that we then eat mm. are rich in omega-3. Mm -hmm. If you ever see it in a supermarket, omega-3 eggs, it's exactly what, what it is. is. The chicken has been fed omega-3. That's why I always say when it comes to beef in particular, it's really important to go organic because you want cattle so. eating what cattle normally eat. Of course. And you don't want them eating pesticides. Got to bear that in mind. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, quite right. So CBD is incredibly well known now. I mean, you, you, the reason that we have chosen Pro-Life CBD, who we've now gone in part, into partnership with, to showcase CBD here. We, 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 this, we did a lot of homework, didn't we, Steve? This took a long time to actually research and come together with a, with a decision, a group decision on who we would choose. And the reason behind Pro-Life CBD being the, the company that we now work with is because it is 100% natural and that is what we're about. So uh, CBD, cannabid oil, mm -hmm. is one of the compounds that you can get from the hemp plant. Mm -hmm. This particular CBD bottle is is in the carrier oil, hemp oil, mm -hmm. and it is full spectrum. Now, full spectrum of cannabinoids, so as I said, you, you referenced again, you know, the natural, there's many different natural cannabinoids that come from the hemp plant, CBD being one of them and, and, and others as well. Um, and we've got all, we've got all the full spectrum. So there's, there's not CBD and then hemp and then some other chemicals and then some other nasties. This is full spectrum all natural, full of, you've got essential fatty acids in there, yeah. antioxidants, so all these it's, other it's benefits. it's full spectrum yeah. without THC. Without THC, okay. yeah, so yeah. Good. imagine there's lots of different extracts mm -hmm. you can get from this one plant. THC is the, how do I say it, hallucinogenic, I never said that word properly. Yeah. Um, did I say it properly then? Yeah. I did quite you well did, then. Did, did, did I'm right. a dyslexic, by the way, so I struggle <laughs> with big words. Uh, I can write, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's not go there. Um, it, it is full spectrum because out of this plant, we get CBD and we get some mm -hmm. other things. And when you look at the charts of all the different extracts you get, they all have mm -hmm. different things that they're, they're renowned for, for yeah. being good for health. Yeah. CBD being the number one. But but if you just extract CBD itself, which is a lot cheaper, uh -huh. then you don't get all the other benefits. Uh -huh. So when we were looking for a CBD oil, we were looking for somebody that offers full spectrum, yeah. somebody that had got all the certification. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this particular company have got certification in the UK, in Spain, which is supposed uh -huh. to be the number one for checking the quality of the oil, and also from America, where yeah. this comes Colorado, from. Colorado, so isn't it? Yeah. yeah, from Colorado. So I, for me, choosing one for our customers. Mm -hmm. I, I also know the brother and sister from a long time back uh -huh. as a family. So I knew the family that produced it. Uh, they've got all the certification. Uh, it's it's completely encompassing. Uh -huh. If you're going to go CBD or This is the one. This is the one. It's what we believe, yeah, you know, absolutely. If you trust us, we trust this supplier. Mm -hmm. Happy days. There we go. And there's an example of the certification. So we can't sit here and tell you all the things it's good for because as of yet, CBD oil worldwide hasn't got those sort of um, 
-hmm. big clinical trials, and of course, big clinical trials mean a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Normally, only the pharmaceutical companies do those clinical trials, and no pharmaceutical company is going to do a clinical trial on this because it's a plant extract. Yeah. You with me? It's not yeah. a man-made drug no, that no. they can patent and make billions yeah. out of. You know, anybody can bring CBD oil as long as you've got the authenticity uh -huh. there and all the certification there. So it might never get all those clinical trials, but anecdotally, you do all the research and it just makes sense that it must be good for us, has to be good for us, uh -huh. because it's a plant extract. Of course, and it's something natural that it's exactly. basically just bringing your, your body back to its natural central point. Yep. Homeostasis, isn't it, when you get back to your natural point? And it's, mm -hmm. it's feeding your body with antioxidants, essential fatty acids, and something that is um, naturally calming, or said to be at least. And I've, I can tell you, and I'll be very honest here, I've been taking this, I gave it to my nan as well. My nan's got cancer, she's got cancerous tumour. God bless her, 90 years old, so unbelievable for her age, lived wow. very primally, and has got, you know, is still walking in out of town by herself every bless day, her. but she's got this tumour that's sitting against her, her internal organs, and it obviously gives her pain of an evening. I've been given a CBD oil, which rather she'd been taking it herself, living on her own, and she said that the night sleep that she had, and this was only after the, the well, the first and second night in particular, she said that she'd had one of the best night sleeps she'd had in, in weeks, wow. and, and, and I, it's been really helping with my quality of sleep as well. Personal testimonial there, it's yeah. definitely worth giving it a go yourself if this is perhaps something that takes your interest. And to use it, it's so simple. Yep. Now, how many drops you use will vary from person to person. Mm -hmm. I'm holding the 8% bottle here, so it's a 10 ml 8% bottle. If you go on the website, you'll also see there's a 20% version or a 10% version with also coconut oil as well, if you yeah. want a big bottle. But for me, yeah. this is the one to this start. This is the starter one, if, yeah. We're talking, obviously, at this programme around mental wellness. Uh -huh. um, you know, I take this for a knee pain that I've got from an operation. How are you getting years on with gone. that? Uh, I've only taken it a couple of weeks, uh -huh. and it seems to be better. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know for definite later on, but uh -huh. at the moment, it seems better. I'm happy to take it because it's completely it's natural. natural. Um, this is a great place to start. Mm -hmm. If this wasn't working for me, I might then try the 10% or the 20%. This is working great for my knee. Yeah. But let's get back to entry level. Entry, entry level. level. Yeah. But we're talking about mental wellness, mental health. So if you've got depression or anxiety, obviously see a doctor. Mm -hmm. But then do little steps. This is a great place to try something that at the moment is all over the internet. Uh, and it's not a fad. It's been around for, for, for centuries and mm -hmm. centuries and centuries. Um, so uh, yeah, give it a go try it and see you, how you get on. Quite right. Um, I will show you how to, to use it in just a moment as well. And when I do, Steve, you'll have to take over if that's okay, because okay. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'll, have to, I'll have to be quiet for once. Um, <laughs> but this is something that a lot of people are actually saying they are just taking for... Oh, for, oh I, just, um, I just went into the TV <laughs> shop then. Are you on that camera? I was gonna go and get you a spoon because it would have been a really good idea to put it on a spoon for you. And, 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 and We're getting a spoon boy. Oh, okay, cool. But it's really, uh, many people have talked about it being fantastic to just use data today so if perhaps if you've got an exam coming up perhaps you feel like you need to have a bit of a boost to, to face the day ahead then this is something that many people have talked about and in fact I've used it you know busy busy day mm -hmm. filming lots going on lots of and lots of studying as well you know I'm trying to learn well, like you are I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do to, to, to help myself I'll tell you what we'll do because you're better at talking than me so uh, I'll, I'll have I just a, do a lot of I'll, it that's I'll, I'll have a bit of it so <laughs> what you do uh, when, when you're learning what uh, six or seven droplets alike, you could just put this straight under the tongue, but I always recommend putting it on a spoon so you can actually, four, five. That's five. a lot easier to there see. There we go, six, I'll have a few more because I love it. Um, and then you just put it under the tongue. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to start talking. Yeah, oh, with pleasure. <laughs> so look, it, it will vary how many drops you require. I would suggest, personal personal suggestion, building it up. So you've got a pet, so that's the actual tube that it's in. Pet's different to drops. Drops are the actual droplets that come out. So choose how many droplets you put onto a spoon. There's um, sort of an advisory on the back, but it, and it says six to 12 drops, um, two to three times per day, but you can completely vary that. So why not start off with maybe, I got my grandma, I'll give you an example. I, I asked my grandma to start off with quarter of a pet just in the evening, because the evening was when she got most of her pains. Then then she started taking quarter of a pipette in the morning as well. And now she's taking half a pipette in the morning and at night, and occasionally she's doing it in the middle of the day as well, if she finds she suffers sort of, you know, middle of the day. So, uh... <laughs> and that's the pipette. And that's the pipette. The okay. actual tube 
is what, the pipette. And why am I not swallowing it? Because you're letting it go, get into the bloodstream. So by putting it under your tongue uh -huh. and leaving it under there is as long as you possibly it's in here can. Now. <laughs> what was that, Steve? It's um, in here now. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you try and it's keep under it under the tongue. It's under. You can swallow it. It's not bad for you, but it's getting into the bloodstream and doing its magic. I feel like we should start playing a game to see uh, what, what are the words you can say whilst you hold CBD under your tongue. I'd say CBD or. <laughs> <laughs> and he did it very well. Best under the tongue. Best under the tongue. So let it go into the bloodstream. Let it do. Let it absorb as much as it possibly can. Of course, you can swallow it. It's not. It's not that you can't. But but by leaving it under there as long as possible, it absorbs and how um, long as do you best. Recommend? It, as long as you can. I mean, 90 seconds it has been suggested. But if you could, if you okay. can do, if you can do this as you leave work yep. and then dry, mm -hmm. and then you know, probably one of the easiest yep. times to do it. Probably wouldn't suggest doing it in the middle of the office. Yep. You know, in, in in the daytime, when someone comes over and says, "Oh, can I ask you a question?" You're like, mm -hmm. I think. I think what I like is that I. I never knew what it would taste like until, of course, you try it. What it's do you quite, think it tastes quite like? Quite earthy. I mean, it's a plant extract. It's a little bit florally, yeah, so isn't quite it? Florally, it's quite pleasant. earthy. It's, ple oh, it's pleasant. Very, yeah. very pleasant. Very pleasant. Yeah. So look, uh, if you would like to get your hands on CBD oil, all you need to do uh, is go to the website primalcure.com, type in CBD in the search bar, and you'll see the three different bottles available. Of course, you can speak to the lovely customer service team on the free number at the bottom of the screen, the 0800 line, and choose the one you want. But this is the one that we're showing yep. today because we yep. believe it to be the entry level one. And it's also important to say that while there are no medical claims we can mm -hmm. make because it's not had no test yet, uh, there's a lot of people mm -hmm. on the internet anecdotally saying it's good with arthritis. Uh, uh, there are people suggesting it's good with people suffering with MS, uh -huh. um, uh, anxiety, Arthritis, depression, joints, yeah. especially things like knee joints. Mm. Uh, give it a go, just yeah. give it a go. You're quite right, and let us know what you think. It's rich in testimonials everywhere. So it's, it's, it's one of those, lots of people have talked about it, so let us know how you get on. Right, the next supplement that we are moving on to here, I am so fascinated by. Okay. So sea kelp, uh, the, the bladder rack variety, and it's, yep. it's basically, it's a sea vegetable. That in itself just fascinates me. Okay, so now, sea kelp is mm -hmm. an extract from seaweed. Uh -huh. And you might get, it's like an algae, isn't it? do yeah. I want to take <laughs> seaweed? Well, I let, love seaweed. Let me tell you a little story uh, about a phenomenal doctor in the 1930s called mm -hmm. uh, Weston Price. He was a doctor stroke dentist. And originally, he wanted to travel the world to w work out why there was so much tooth decay in America, why were people getting you know, rotten teeth when you look uh -huh. back in history and look at schools and you'd go, well, actually, tooth decay is a modern disease. It uh -huh. didn't really happen you know, centuries and centuries ago. So uh, Western Price, uh, in the 30s, went and spent time with the Aborigines, the Inuits, uh, with the Eskimos, with the Maori in New Zealand, with the tribes in the Andes. He mm -hmm. went to every cut-off society, not every, but yeah, he spent 20 odd years going around and documenting mm -hmm. all these societies. And while he started off from a dental perspective, he ended up looking at overall health. So what he then started to do was where he goes, for example, he'd find like a, a, an Eskimo tribe with like mm -hmm. 13,000 people, not one with dementia, not one with anxiety, not one with cancer, not one with a heart disease. He was like, wow, all these problems are like localized uh -huh. in America. What are they doing the that we're not what doing? What are they doing? Yeah. So he started to take their food that they were eating, uh -huh. would package it up and he would send it to the laboratories in America. Uh -huh. And he would find massive differentiations between the American diet uh -huh. and what these cut off communities were, 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 were eating. One in particular astounded him and that was iodine. So iodine is a mineral that we get from things like fish, but also from seaweed, uh -huh. um, that has so many things around cognitive function uh -huh. and the immune system. Uh, and yet he was finding that the American diet at the time had one fiftieth of the amount of iodine that some of these cut off uh, tribes uh, were, were experiencing. Uh, and suffice to say that today in America and the UK, we just don't get anywhere near as much iodine uh -huh. from our food as we used to. Think also of people that have a thyroid problem, like my wife has an underactive thyroid. You keep hearing T3, T4. Uh, well, what is T3? What is T4? It's actually iodine that they're talking about. It's an iodine deficiency. So I first of all started to learn around uh, kelp and sea kelp uh, with my wife's uh, 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 problems with her thyroid. But then the more and more we start to realize this is a 
a, a mineral that is recommended by the European Food Standard Agency, by doctors in America, in fact, across the globe, it's recognised yeah. now that we must get a certain amount of iodine into our diets, and pretty much we're just deficient in it. Uh -huh. You just unless you're eating loads of seafood, unless you're eating loads of sushi, you know, with the, the sushi wraps, you know, that uh -huh. the, 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 from seaweed again, we're probably deficient in iodine. So we originally did iodine for people uh, with thyroid problems, but then the uh -huh. more and more research you do, it's now recognised that it's really important for cognitive function. So what we're trying to do in this show is uh -huh. to highlight four or five supplements. So yeah. maybe you're going to try the CBD oil. Yeah. Maybe you can try CBD oil and you can take one of our uh, C cup iodine tablets. Um, and by the way, it's kelp is the vehicle, if you like. Uh -huh. Iodine is what we find in sea fish and uh, in, inside the seaweed. So would you suggest if you're not mass a massive seafood um, lover, if it's not, it's not really incorporated into your diet, this is something to definitely take into consideration? Perhaps, you is that something would you suggest? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, if you're not into seaweed, if you're not mm -hmm. into <laughs> Japanese and sushi, um, you know, if you're massively healthy already, mm -hmm. then just the multivitamin, the omega-3, uh -huh. the magnesium, there's probably probiotics, there's probably half a dozen things that you should be taking every single day, whether you're healthy or not, uh -huh. to really underpin your health. Yeah. Second, there's something wrong with your health. Depressed, anxiety, yeah. you should be looking at getting you the best nutritional diet you can. Uh -huh. You should be looking at you know, going out and exercising and yeah. walking more and just smelling the fresh air mm -hmm. and you know, talking to your loved ones, everything you can, but also trying four or five different solutions mm -hmm. uh, around supplements to see which one works for you. Yeah. It may be that you're iodine def deficient in iodine. Uh -huh. It may be that CBD all works really uh -huh. well for you. It might be that your vitamin Bs are way under mm -hmm. on a daily intake, what you should be bit taking. A trial and error maybe. A bit of trial mm -hmm. and error. And some people might, there's two strategies here. You might get everything we talk about in the show and give it all one go, uh -huh. and then all of a sudden go, wow, that's really worked for me, and mm -hmm. carry on. Or you might go, well, actually, I'm more analytical type person, uh -huh. so you might say, well, I'll start with one, maybe the CBD oil, yeah. or maybe the multivitamin, and then see how you get on. And then if that doesn't work for you, then try the next, mm -hmm. and then try the next, and then try the next. Or when you talk about the value we're talking about, you could take all of these <laughs> right, and you're less than 50 pence a day. Wow. So, I, I mean, I, I, I'd be looking at all of them if I was uh -huh. anxious or depressed. Yeah, quite right. And, and with this particular uh, supplement, you, you're not only looking at iodine, you've got zinc, magnesium, iron, potassium, copper, and calcium. And so many different doctors talk about the importance of vitamins and minerals when it comes to looking after the brain cognitive function it's so 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 important mm. i mean th th this is this is just i've got a load of, of great stuff in there i mean you're talking about goodness from the sea here yeah and also and on top of that uh sea kelp from the bladder rack varieties yep. it has been known to has been talked about reducing inflammation now look inflammation we say this you know often here at, at, at primal cure inflammation can be fantastic. It can be great in some aspects. Our, our best friend when it comes to heel wounding, it comes in and it, it protects your protects your body and it has it has a function in, in, in that respect. But chronic inflammation can actually attack your own tissues and that's where the problem occurs. So when you're actually, your, your body's attacking its own tissues, that's where diseases and illnesses and conditions, one of the factors which can cause those. So if you think about chronic inflammation, say for example, on the brain, there's been research out there that's suggesting that the inflammation is of course now linked to cognitive yeah, look, diseases like look, Alzheimer's. Yeah, so my yeah. mum's got Alzheimer's, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've done a lot of research in this area. And there are lots of doctors now, lots mm -hmm. of books written, lots of white papers out there that say, in many ways, Alzheimer's is actually diabetes type three. Uh -huh. Wow. Whew. So wow. you start to think about that. So all the things that lead to diabetes uh -huh. may, be what, you know, may be also leading or contributing uh -huh. to uh, Alzheimer's. So brain health is really, really important. Yeah. Back to the iodine for just one second. Uh, what you're saying is absolutely correct uh -huh. around inflammation. Um, back to iodine. Uh, my wife is still taking a thyroid tablet. Yeah, we haven't got her off completely, but we've managed to cut the dose down by mm -hmm. getting the diet better, more nutrition, and possibly, you can never say it's absolutely down uh -huh. to taking C kelp, but because it's rich in iodine, and because T3 and T4 medication is all about iodine, yeah. it makes sense. And of course, if you can get iodine through a supplement rather than mm -hmm. a drug, mm -hmm. happy days, because we want to cut Quite down, right. just like my dad, you know, he, I haven't yet, he's diabetic, I haven't yet got him 
off his medication. Mm -hmm. But by getting his diet better and better and better, we'll be able to reduce that medication. Some people can come completely off eventually. A yeah. uh, bit harder for my dad, because he's a bit set in his ways, because he's 78. It's a bit of a generation yeah, thing sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. G give, me, give me 10 people in their 40s and 50s that are diabetic. Uh -huh. My hit rate will always be better than <laughs> if you give me 10 people set in their ways a little bit older. But there you, you like go. a challenge though, don't you, Steve? I do like a challenge. <laughs> but anyway, iodine, yeah. great if you've got a mm -hmm. thyroid problem, but also if, if you've got any depression, mm -hmm anxiety, then give it a go. Fantastic, yeah, and, and, and thyroid problems have actually now been linked to emotional disturbances in the brain, so they think there's a link with, with the feelings of depression yep. and anxiety in some people as well, potentially. And so, yeah. have you seen how I've priced it? What's it? Have you seen how I've priced it? £1.50 on subscription. It's, okay. What's that, what's that? about a little, that's not even 10, 10 pence a day, it's five pence a day. Pennies a day. Five pence a Pennies day. Pennies a day. So give it a go. Yeah. Go to the website or give us a call to get your hands on sea kelp. That or eat loads sick. of sushi. Or eat loads of sushi. Or One loads of woolly fish. <laughs> if, you know, if you're like me and you don't like fish, then that's the, uh, that's the supplement for you for <laughs> that, perhaps. Okay, so from supplement, uh, so from, from sea kelp, from supplement to supplement, you, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, from sea kelp to vitamin D3. Now I know you are so incredibly passionate about this. The sunshine vitamin, as many of us will know. Do you go on holiday and come back feeling like you've got a bounce in your step? Now, obviously that can be down to a few variables. You've been spending time with family and friends. You've been eating some, perhaps some lovely, lovely food, you know, some nice healthy foods that, you know, lots of fish perhaps in your diet if you buy the sea and so on. But a lot of that could be down to, and in fact is, we believe, down to sunlight and yes. vitamin D. So, mm -hmm. my mother was told many, many years mm -hmm. ago that she'd got a high risk of skin cancer. Now, how her GP was able to say, you're at a high risk of skin cancer, don't ask me, right? Um, but she was. Okay. And because my mom listens to the advice she gets, uh -huh. my mom, for literally the last 20, 30 years, will not go out in the sun. We take her to really nice holidays, but she will not go out in the so sun. Sits in the shade all the time. Hat on, a shade mm -hmm. on. Or if she does go out, she lathers up so much with factor 50 that she gets no benefit mm -hmm. whatsoever of being out in the sun. So I wrote about this at length in Primal Cure yes, in my book did. because if you listen to the advice of this doctor that said this to my mom, she is massively vitamin D deficient for that mm -hmm. very, very wow. reason. Now the sunshine is without doubt the best way to get vitamin D into our body. It helps what we call synthesize. The body, the skin mm -hmm. absorbs the ultraviolet rays and it synthesizes, it helps our body, as long as you've got magnesium and calcium in, in your blood supply, uh -huh. it helps our body synthesize and create its own sufficient vitamin D. So if you're out and about and you're on holidays all the time mm -hmm. and you get some winter sun, I know quite a lot of people now sort of go and spend three or four weeks out in sunny places Don't in the middle you. of the winter. Don't blame you. That's fantastic, right? It's mm -hmm. absolutely fantastic. Because the body can also store vitamin D. Right. right, so it's not like yeah. vitamin B and C where we can't store it beyond 24 water hours. They're water soluble. Yeah. But vitamin A, K, D and E, the body can store it. And in fact, sometimes we think it can store vitamin D for up to like a couple of months. Brilliant. Having said that, my <laughs> wife that goes on lots of sunny holidays recently was diagnosed with being vitamin D Even with deficient, sunshine. even though she's always out in the sun. And when you go out in the sun, here's the thing, I wrote about this in the book. Well, Getting sunburnt is dangerous. And I'm not sitting here saying, go like a lobster on a sunbed and get burnt. I'm not saying that. That is dangerous. But the stats are something like this. In America, mm -hmm. 3,000 people a year die of skin cancer. Over 100,000 people die of being vitamin D deficient. In other words, we have to, we're far more likely to get seriously ill from by deficiency. avoiding the sun than by being in the sun. And what I wrote in the book, I've done loads of research on this, and I, 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 used to, I, I gave them my kids, I used it. Right, I've been brainwashed. Right, before we go out, so we get the Maldives quite a lot, go on holiday. Mm -hmm. Before we go out there in the morning, kids, got to lather you all up with suntan cream. It takes half hour to get in, uh -huh. send you out, happy days. Good dad, yeah. good parenting. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong, bad parenting. Send them out in the sun. Now let's say you think your kids will last 30 minutes before it goes a bit wrong, go about half that time. So 15 mm -hmm. minutes in the sun with no suntan cream okay. at all. 
bring them in. Don't put the suntan cream on straight away, right. play some games, do whatever, because you've got to let the skin absorb that sunlight then put the suntan cream on and then go out. Uh -huh. So it really is important we get enough sunshine. Yeah. If you can't get enough sunshine, you need to eat food rich mm -hmm. in vitamin D, mm -hmm. back to our oily fish and, and yeah. nuts and seeds, etc., etc. And then if you still aren't getting enough, then you need to supplement. Well, so I've told you two things first before I try and sell you yeah. something. <laughs> because don't yeah. underestimate. There's a reason why if you were born Near the equator, we have darker skin mm -hmm. because that's to protect us from the, the sun. But also, if you're an Eskimo or an Inuit, well, absolutely pale skin, not because of where you live, because you haven't got enough sun. It's so that you can absorb more, su more sunlight. Yeah. And in fact, if you are of darker skin, or let's say let's say you're of darker skin and you're living more north, you know, at, at a, uh, a higher uh, latitude. Mm -hmm then actually need even more sun. So yeah. if you have darker skin living in the UK, mm -hmm. you're probably more Not vitamin D deficient. deficient than somebody with a paler skin. And linking it back to, of course, what we're talking about now, which is stress. I mean, we are uh, you know, in Stress Awareness Month, a very, very important month, which is why we're talking about mental health. Vitamin D is known to be the, the happiness vitamin, the sunshine vitamin, alongside actually you know, vitamin B6, which we'll be going to afterwards, another one of the happiness vitamins out there. But this, is, which actually converts into a hormone, so again, we, this is very important. Hormones play a massive role in our bodies, in how we think, and how we feel, in, in our emotions. And we've actually got um, Dr. Uh, Mighty Ferrin here, actually, who's a, who's a child psychologist, in fact, talking about the links between vitamin D and depression. Vitamin D has been linked to um, depression. And uh, we know that, for instance, in the UK, um, people, because they don't, probably they're not exposed to the sun that much, um, the vitamin D levels may be slightly lower and that can lead to feeling tired and feeling depressed and, and all that. So sometimes when people feel slightly depressed, um, uh, we recommend them to go on and do this blood test to check that the vitamin levels are normal and otherwise we recommend for them to, to take su supplementation um, with vitamin D. I mean that is absolutely fascinating and says so much about the importance of vitamins and minerals and hormones I should say rather in this case within our body and, and the roles that it can play you know with with our brains and emotions yeah, really absolutely. really really important. And, and, and again Never met Patrick before, Dr. <laughs> Patrick Holford, but I've, I've read... I feel like you will do it at some point. I think I, I will. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to see him at the uh, Public Health uh, Conference uh, yes. in May. Um, but I've listened to his podcast. Mm -hmm. I've read not all of his 30 books, but most of his books. Mm -hmm. I actually don't agree with everything he says. Um, but when it comes to wellness of, 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 of the brain, he's a big believer mm -hmm. in vitamin D, sufficient omega, and B vitamins. Uh -huh. You know, it, 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 absolutely categorically states these are things we should be yeah. getting plentiful of in our diet or supplementation. Quite right. So if you want to get vitamin, in fact, the Public Health England advised that all of us in the UK throughout autumn and winter, because in the UK we're just, we're not getting that much sunshine really. We're quite lucky sometimes of our summers, it depends. But some people say that's linked to other things like global warming. We won't go into that, whole different show there. <laughs> but uh, look, <coughs> well, vitamin I know what you say. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Malcolm Kendrick in his yeah. book clearly says, we should all in Great Britain supplement vitamin D throughout the winter. I think, yeah, and, and to be in the, to be on the safer side possible, why not consider taking it all year round? Yep. I would say, you know, to be to be on the safer side there. So an amazing price. You can of course and get subscribe. Out of the sunshine. Get out the sunshine. Yeah, more importantly, go take a holiday. You deserve it. <laughs> uh, but yes, you can subscribe, so you'll never have to worry about missing um, any of your your supplements. There, they'll get delivered direct to your door. Pick the frequency of which you'd like it delivered, be it 30, 60 or 90 days. And when you subscribe on the vitamins and minerals, it's half the price um, of the normal, you say, I mean, even the, 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 the normal price is not normal. That's really low. Well, for the quality subscription, for the quality of three, the, quite, exactly. five pounds is really good value, but very, very 248, low. eight pence a day to make sure uh, that you've got sufficient vitamin D. Uh, it's cheaper than a holiday. 
Um, <laughs> probably not as good as <laughs> a holiday. That is a very good point. <laughs> Cheaper than a holiday, probably not as good as a holiday, but take them both. Can we now mm. yes. talk about vitamin B6? Because Please. in 2004, mm -hmm. uh, in Denmark, they did a study, they got mm -hmm. 140 people that were clinically depressed mm -hmm. uh, and they looked at the levels of B6 in their blood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and found that the vast majority of them were deficient in vitamin B6. And it, like you say, vitamin D could be called the uh -huh. happiness uh, uh, supplement or, or, or vitamin, definitely B6. Yeah, you know. it's like a natural antidepressant. Some people say, I'm not saying do not seek I've, help, I've but got, it's been I've talked. Got tuss, I've got clients that take it for uh, depression, I've got clients, they've got late, I've got some ladies that only take it at the wrong time of the month. So it's like they won't I don't know go. what you mean by that, Steve. I, 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 I don't quite understand it either. No. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, <laughs> it's one of the few that I ask my wife. So, mm -hmm. you know, we have the little, uh, and if you haven't bought from us before, the little supplement trays uh, are absolutely fantastic. You've got days of the week on there. Days as well, of the week. Don't you? Yeah. When I know, because yeah. I have to do my wife's for her, because one of the things she's great, she brings the kids up. Uh, she's very busy in the mornings, yeah. etc. Full time job in itself. Full time job, the kids, and she still sort of does. Anyway, uh, so I have to do my wife's uh, vitamin tray every uh -huh. morning for her and put them all in for her once a week. When I know it's the wrong, and she trusts me because she knows I know what I'm talking about. When I know it's coming up to the wrong time of the month, I add an extra vitamin B6 in that week. Natural time of the month, but something that can that can play a role for in my our own hormones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, don't give my boyfriend so, don't any. selfishly put a B6 in every day for My it. boyfriend's going to be watching thinking, ah, oh, so yeah, tick, thank you for that, Steve. I'll be getting some of those in our household too. Gents, <laughs> gents, get B6. If it's the wrong time of the month, just drop one in. Well, look, this this is a really important vitamin, I mm -hmm. believe, to subscribe to. I take this every single day. So it's known as a natural hormone balancer, which is why we've just talked about uh, PMS and, and the role that can play on our emotions and, and, and on our mood and so on. But there are actually so many actual EFSA claims, so that's the European Food Standard Agency, There's, there are many EFSA claims against B6, contributes to normal psychological function, helps with the immune system as well, but fatigue and tiredness, yeah, I mean, so that totally is one of the symptoms, it, it, it isn't reduces it? reduces tiredness and fatigue, yeah. and of course, tiredness and fatigue tend to go hand in hand yeah. or are commonplace with depression and anxiety and as well so as a low support. immune system as exactly. well yeah, you exactly. know you just get knocked back I mean, do, you, do you feel like you are incredibly prone to getting ill coughs and colds i have been there and you honestly and that in itself can make you feel so stressed there's days where i would struggle to really get myself out of yeah. bed because i just i was like, i can't believe i'm ill again but it was just yeah. prone probably you know a lot of, a lot of that down to deficiencies but this is giving yourself perhaps a foundation so in the back of your mind, you're thinking, I've taken a small step here to help myself. And each and every day you think, I've taken my bit. I'm not saying this is going to absolutely solve everything. No, no one's saying that. We know that this is a huge topic and there is no singular answer for even one sy symptom, let alone you know, number of, a number of symptoms. But this is a way of helping yourself, thinking, you know, you, you know you're doing something that's practical, a positive step in the right direction. Yep. And small incremental steps, small, small steps. Yep. It's about small steps. So, so B6, here's the thing, yeah. right? It helps increase, here's two really important words, increase the production of yeah. and the release of yeah. two hormones that are crucial to happiness, and that yeah. is serotonin and dopamine. So if it increases the production and the release of the uh -huh. two hormones that are associated with happiness, hey, it makes sense, we take it. Uh -huh. But on top of that, let me just, and I'm gonna read these out word for word, because I, I, I wanna make sure I get these absolutely right. These are the European Food Standard Agency claims that they say go with vitamin B6. Uh -huh. Contributes to normal psychological function. Normal function of the immune system, and again, the, the stomach and the brain uh -huh. interrelated. Reduction of tiredness and fatigue. The regulation of hormonal activities. Uh -huh. That's why I get my wife to have it that time of the month. Uh -huh. uh, and the normal function of the nervous system. These are mm -hmm. factually what it does, you know, that's why it's a vitamin. Remember the word vitamin, vitamin means vital, vital for life. Remember that anything that's got a B in it, as a vitamin B, the body doesn't store it, mm. it loses it. So every 24 hours you need to be getting, it's what we call water soluble. Any vitamin, which is all the Bs and the C, mm. we have yeah. to get every single day, hopefully from great diet and great uh -huh. nutrition. If not, what is a vitamin? It's nutrition in a capsule. Yeah. That's what it is. And yeah. vitamin B, C 
look, if any way, shape or form, you're feeling a little bit down under the weather, a little bit depressed, where you're a bit anxious, then get vitamin D into mm -hmm. your, uh, sorry, vitamin B6 into your life right now. And by the way, what's so special about ours, when you look at the concentration mm -hmm. of it, it is some 35 times more than the minimum amount yeah. that we're told we need every day. So it's a really powerful, it's not drug status, so it's mm -hmm. not, because again, drugs are different, yeah? If you want to yeah. take drugs, and not want to take drugs, but so, let me rephrase that, that's a horrible thing to say. If you take drugs from the doctor for mm -hmm. depression, then there's probably a good reason why you're taking them, mm -hmm. but they are drugs and they can have side effects, yeah. and they're not natural to the body. But what we've done here, we've tried to make the most potent natural product possible. So this is 35 times the minimum amount the body needs every single yeah. day. So we wanted to get as potent as we could, but with natural substance. Remember, we're just talking about good nutrition here, but mm -hmm. packed, jam-packed in every capsule. Yeah. And, and don't think that if it's 35 times the, the amount that is regarded as the minimum, that it's some huge, huge, huge capsule. The exciting thing is with these, they're absolutely tiny. Teeny tiny. This, yeah. or this here, sorry, mm -hmm. is 35 times the minimum amount we need every day. Big, powerful, benef potential benefits in a very small ca capsule exactly. there. So, exactly. you know, lots of goodness in a small capsule. Look, we just also want to say that we know that stress and mental health problems bears no boundaries. We know that it doesn't pick and choose who, who it happens to and you know you sometimes that it can be on the outside someone that is a complete extrovert some, someone that is so seemingly happy and we understand that but you may be that person you may be going out and about day to day and people think oh that's you know happy go lucky you know whoever you ever you are whoever it may be we are talking about you know really trying to offer practical steps small steps for yep. anybody that feels that that you know this small, might be an option small steps yeah. but steps now we've been doing this a long time steps that every single day uh -huh. we get emails we get comments yeah. we get trust part reviews that do work yeah yep. of course. because back to the eskimos the intuits the people living in the andes uh -huh. you know we don't see depression and anxiety uh -huh. in these really rural cut off communities uh -huh. we've got to get our nutrition right I agree. yeah and I, agree. I think we could we could really cut down and for many people completely, completely take away anxiety and depression if nutrition was 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah? 100% for many, yeah. many people. They can feel happy and get, and get back to their normal self. But it needs really studying good nutrition and that's why we're putting mm -hmm. four or five solutions forward right now because not everything right. will work for everybody. A different combinations work for diff different people yeah and if they don't work then it's really important that people go and see their doctor speak to their loved ones mm -hmm. because then they may need a stronger medication but where we can avoid medication Either then way. we should always do yeah. yeah we should always avoid medication well and bringing that back to actually where, where the place where i was before was very very unwell and i was offered antidepressants to actually <laughs> it's actually counteract some of the side effects that I was having from other uh, medications and, and something I thought to myself was you know I need to get more B vitamins and my mum and I decided it, uh, together that we should perhaps find a different route and I'm not saying that might be right for you it's not right for everybody but this is where you know we looked at diet and lifestyle and we've got we've got B vitamins here that we're talking about today so we've just had uh, the B6 we're now moving on to uh, folic acid and this is another folic acid. very 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 important B vitamin. very important vitamin very acid. Important wow. if you're pregnant, yeah. trying to get pregnant, uh, you get lots of it in broccoli, uh -huh. lots in spinach, mm -hmm. chickpeas, lentils, and beans. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, it, it, it's probably what I love about folic acid, which is also known as B9, is it was the first one that really doctors started to really push on patients. Mm -hmm. Once there was that association with pregnancy. Uh, and, and really helping minimise the chance of uh -huh. birth defects, doctors start to really get behind it. And mm -hmm. You could even say it was the catalyst, that, because years back, most doctors wouldn't recommend vitamins and minerals. They'd always say, well, get it from your food, get it from your yeah. food. Then folic acid and the importance of it really struck a chord. And now you're getting many doctors that are recommending you know, a good multivit, recommending uh -huh. vitamin D, uh, B6, B9 and so on. Yeah, and again, 
you know, similar to that of B6, it, it helps contribute to the normal, normal psychological function, normal function of the immune system. We've already touched upon the fact that it, it sort of they go, uh, can go one way or the other. You feel low and you feel very, um, very down, which can have a knock-on effect on your immune system. Or if you've got a low immune system anyway and you're, you're prone to coughs and colds, that in turn can make you feel mm. anxious, stressed, depressed. So, you know, whichever way you look at it, getting a good diet, getting the vitamins and minerals that your body needs needs is essential. I mean, yeah. that is it. Vital, vital, vitamins, vital. That is what they mean. So we've talked about B6, we've got folic acid, and it's not just for pregnancy. I think this is a little bit of a, a misconception. Yeah. You know, do, do I just have to be pregnant or trying for a baby? No, for both male and female, this is known to be a fantastic, fantastic vitamin. Uh, if you can get it from your diet, Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, but if, if you know, a lot of us aren't getting what we need from our diet these days due to pesticides, modern farming methods. I could do a whole show on that in itself. <laughs> but it's very, very, very important. So it's another one of the B vitamins to consider. But again, I just want to, you know, make it very, very clear. If you if you need help and, and you're looking to seek help, please do go see your GP. Speak to a family member. Speak to a friend. We are not we are not uh, replacing the advice of medical professionals. We are not psychologists, we are not medical professionals. We are sharing our own experiences, the experiences of those around us that we love and the knowledge that we have taken and extracted from speaking to the medical professionals. Just wanted to clarify that. Yep. And what we've also done, so um, take uh, CBD out the question, uh, equation for a second uh -huh. because of course CBD oil uh, we don't know how much you want to use, whether you're going to use that in sort of two weeks or two months, depends on mm -hmm. how many droplets, how frequently Very personalised, yeah. But the reason we're going to move now to our... I, I, I want to phrase this correctly. Um, well. I, I, don't want to say, I don't want to say mental wellness, but let's call it mental well-being bundle. The reason we put all of these four together in this final offer that's coming on your screen is because we think B6, mm -hmm. and we know from the European Food Standard Agency, is crucial for cognitive well-being. We know that vitamin D is crucial. And while CBD is, there's no claims yet, but we, we wanted to put four pieces together where there is scientific proof mm -hmm. work towards well-being of our minds. So uh, kelp, not kelp itself, but the iodine, iodine content, proven to be crucial and magnesium to our, it, yeah. our, our well exactly yeah. uh, b6 uh, vitamin d and folic acid we've put all four of these together in this pack that is now on your screen because this is a pack of a great way of starting out you might want to add to that omega-3 uh -huh. you might want to add to that and i always 100 percent recommend every gets a multivitamin every day uh, and you might want to add to that cbd oil as well uh -huh. but if in any way shape or form you want to uh, maybe you're suffering with a little bit of anxiety a little bit of depression of course, if it's severe, you must go and see your doctor. And always talk to your friends and your loved ones as in well. In your mate's corner. But if yeah. you're the sort of person that just feels a little bit down and you don't know why, and maybe you're not on the top of your game like you used to be, then this wellness for the mind pack that we've put together makes it so affordable. You're talking some, well, the, the graphics will show you exactly, but you, you, you're looking less than 25 pence a day to really be supporting your well-being. It might not work for everybody. If it doesn't work for you, you just send it back um, or you just cancel your subscription. It's totally up to you, but but this would be a great place to start. Make sure you're getting enough Amiga, whether that be with our capsules mm -hmm. or whether that be with our flaxseed oil or with your oily fish. Try and get out in the sunshine as much as you can, but don't get burnt, of course, because that's just totally, totally uh, non-productive uh, and bad for your health. So don't get burnt, but get out in the sun as much as you can. Get out and walk as much as you can. Try and go, I love, I always recommend to me, go for a walk in the countryside. Uh -huh. Just enjoy nature. Yeah. Just do so many great things. Really. Make sure you're staying hydrated, drinking plenty of water. But if that's still all Sleeping not working, well. getting, and, and trying to get as much sleep as you can, this super bundle for your mental wellness and health, I think is one of the best deals we've ever put together. Uh -huh, absolutely, and look again, we, we know that mental health is so incredibly complex. 
These are ways in which we would like to offer incremental small steps to help yourself and anybody around you as well. It might be a suggestion that you could offer a loved one because we are all about helping the ones that you love live happier, healthier and longer and that is what it, it is about. So just want to say thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching and, and, and joining in the discussion because yep. it is a huge discussion to say the very least. No, it really is and you know, while we it's important to look after our immune system, it's, uh, it's important to look after our gut, it's important to get hydrated, it's important to get really mm -hmm. good nutrition. Don't underestimate how looking after this, just like we look after the engine in our car, uh -huh. is so, so important. And it does run on hormones, it runs on things that, you know, it, it's not always in your control, but don't think you can to put it back in your control. And in your control, is making sure you have got really good nutrition in your diet and in your supplements.